Hey everybody, it's Femtrooper, and today I'm going to be talking about an amazing game that I just played, and that's Yakuza Like a Dragon. So, I am a huge Yakuza fan. No, I have not beat them all, but I recently just got into the series, and I'm slowly making my way through all of the titles, and wow, this most recent one is quite good. My history with the series is a couple years ago I played Yakuza 0 and everyone had recommended that to me because it's a prequel to the original, it kind of, it's a good way to get into the series, sort of a backstory kind of game and wow was it incredible, it is definitely one of the best games I've ever played. Since then I played Yakuza Kiwami 1 and Yakuza Kiwami 2, which were both absolutely incredible. These are like really good movies, they're just, they're just really solid. If you've not played this series, Please, I'm begging you, you have to give them a chance. They are not Japanese Grand Theft Auto. I used to kind of think that. It kind of looked like that, but it's not. It's so different. So please, definitely give them a chance. This new one, which is Yakuza Like a Dragon, is a lot different from the rest of them because it's turn-based. It's a JRPG. The other ones have JRPG elements. They're not really JRPGs, but they're more brawlers, kind of. So yeah you walk around town and stuff but when you get into an actual battle or a fight it is it's a brawl like it's, it's you it's button mashing to some degree this is turn-based it's so different and oh my god it worked so well <laughs> i just i i cannot tell you how awesome it felt to have this series join like the official jrpg realm I'm not here to go into like super fine details about the game, I'm here to tell you how I felt about the game. So just briefly, if you don't know, the big deal about this game was that they changed the main character, it's no longer Kiryu, it is Ichiban, he's a new character to the series and they nailed it, he's phenomenal, he's definitely one of my favorite characters in video game period and other characters in the game were like top notch. I especially like Nanba, I thought he was phenomenal, I was always laughing. And that's another thing here guys, you were always smiling playing this. I was constantly, constantly smiling, laughing, just having a great time. This is a great time. I Some games are kind of just like there, this is not. This is, this is a fantastic time. Every time you play it, you will be laughing, smiling, feeling emotions that you've never felt. Oh my God, it is just, it's something else. So like I said, they changed the main character. Oh no, uh, it was totally fine. It was totally fine. No Kiryu, no problem. This was not a big issue at all. I mean, the guy has seven games, so it's cool to change it up at this point. I love him. He's one of my favorite characters as well, but it was nice to see some fresh faces and a different kind of take on it. And it was just, fantastic. A new setting, um, It's the whole game uh, is not in Camarocho, it's now in Yokohama, it was really cool, I was just blown away by everything they did with this. So briefly, the battle system is actually really fantastic, it's a great JRPG in that regard. Forget everything else, if you're just here to battle, it is great. Warning, there are certain areas of the game, like the game is there's no difficulty mode in this, so you're just going for it, which I remember feeling a little bit like, oh no, right? But it's totally fine. There are some areas though that the difficulty goes kind of from zero to 10. So you're kind of caught off guard. You're like, yeah, whatever. And then all of a sudden you'll, a boss will be like just insane. The good news is you can grind and you can beat the boss. So no problem there. It is a little frustrating because there were some areas where I had to like, you know, I spent a couple days grinding. I, that might be, you know, one play session for you, but for me it was a couple days because I just don't, I don't have the same kind of time as other people. But yeah, it was a little annoying to know that like, oh, I wouldn't get to the next part for a bit. But other than that, I would say the battle system is fantastic. It is super fun. It's, it's just, it, it flows very well and it's really a good time. The battles are hilarious. This is a Yakuza game, so it's funny. It's, really serious stuff but with funny <laughs> elements thrown in where it's like the most serious thing you've ever seen and then it just gets wacky and goofy that's why i like these because they're like they're so serious where you want to start crying and then all of a sudden you're laughing because the the dumbest thing just happened so they are 
pure Japanese goodness. They are fantastic. And yeah, silly is the word because it is just great. And, and like I said, they changed it up a little bit, but I mean, it's still Yakuza. It's the same great Yakuza formula. You will be right at home if you like the other ones. It's just now a turn-based JRPG. So it's fine. If you like JRPGs and you like Dragon Quest, you will especially like this because I love Dragon Quest so much now and the main character in this game loves Dragon Quest and mentions it constantly. The entire game he basically sees himself as the hero and so that's why you'll be in silly outfits that really only he sees because he kind of sees his whole life as the hero in like a Dragon Quest game. So he sees, you know, when he goes to do something his friends are his party and so that's kind of how they get away with the JRPG thing in this. It was just done so well and the Dragon Quest ref references are hilarious and super just comforting and fun and I will say there is some fan service in the sense I, I don't mean like um I don't mean like boobs I mean like like there's some Yakuza fan service like you might see a character from another game that's like it's it's there because they know that you're gonna be like ooh yay he's here kind of thing so there were moments where like an old character that you hadn't seen for a while showed up and it was like oh my god he's here as you can tell I really enjoyed this game and I am telling you this again because I am not joking I was legitimately smiling and so happy pretty much the entire time I played this game this is a long game this is like 45 hours ish um, around there it's like might take you 47, might take you 43, I don't know, whatever. It is really a, a decently, like it's long, it's a long game. And the entire time I was just always happy. There were moments where I was just like, oh, these guys, like it was that, it was that kind of feeling where you felt like you knew the characters and they were real and you were rooting for them and they were so silly and fun. And anytime something happened where they were I don't know, there were just like some kind of hijinks kind of moments in this that I was like legitimately laughing. I am not joking because this is embarrassing. When I beat the final boss in this game, like the actual end, the final boss of the game, I literally put my hands <laughs> into the air like this because I was so happy. I knew that was the moment. I knew it was done. Uh, and I was just feeling like, oh, wow, this has a, a great ending. It's so heartfelt. It's really just... A phenomenal experience as a game. I I can't really speak highly enough about it. I will say that I love the other games. They are fantastic, but there was something so charming about this particular installment that it is now my favorite Yakuza game. That doesn't mean another one might not top it in the future. I would love a sequel to this. Obviously, they're going to keep making them, and I'm sure Ichiban and his friends are going to be, you know, characters again. I'm so excited. But wow, this uh, Yakuza 0 was my favorite, and this it definitely, it, it's a little higher. And when I say it's a little higher, um, I just did my top 10 JRPGs list, and I did not include this on there because I was still playing it at the time. So games that I'm currently playing, I, I could not put it on there because I hadn't truly finished it, and I that's not fair to put it on there. This game is now probably my second favorite JRPG of all time. Uh, it might actually beat Dragon Quest XI. So just saying that, um, I speak very highly of this game. So yes, this is like up there, guys. The music in this game is fantastic. As always, the Yakuza games to me aren't, they're kind of like, uh, the, the music is, is incredibly fitting. I wouldn't say they're like my favorite video game music, but they're like really, really good. And there are certain tracks that are absolute standouts. And I, <laughs> The final boss theme in this is one of my favorite tracks ever in a video game and I think it's one of the best like final boss um, like battle themes I've ever heard. No joke, I'm serious. Um, and I mean the actual final boss theme because like a lot of JRPGs there's several boss fights at the end and the final dungeon music in this is also incredible. It's very good, you can listen to it on YouTube, but I just thought it was incredibly emotional, powerful, um, evil, I don't know, go listen to it, it's fantastic, it's really good, um, it just completely blew me away. This is the kind of game, no joke, stays with you forever. This is like when I played Dragon Quest XI and I knew I'd found something really special here. And yeah, this is the same thing. And it's funny because when I was playing it, I thought my, th my favorite JRPGs have something in common and they are all Dragon Quest-ish. 
Earthbound is a copy of Dragon Quest, just in a modern day setting. I mean, it is everything. The, the even the way the battles look, the where you you see that you don't see the characters. It's it's so similar to that. This is different than that, but they really tried to make it feel like Dragon Quest, and with all the references and everything. I honestly, it even the way this is in other Yakuza games too, but even the way the text sounds when it scrolls on the screen. It's very reminiscent of like Earthbound and older, like really old JRPGs like Dragon Quest and stuff. And I thought, man, my favorite JRPGs, this, Dragon Quest XI, Earthbound. I'm like, they're all kind of that Dragon Quest vibe, that Earthbound vibe. So this is a modern day setting. It's a JRPG. It is incredibly welcome. I'm going to say this, please, developers, please, more of this. I'm sick to death. I'm not saying some of them aren't good. I'm sick to death of the school setting. I feel like whenever we get a modern JRPG, it's like, oh, neat. Oh, it's high schoolers, of course. I'm not saying some, like, Persona 5, incredible. Absolutely incredible, one of my favorite games of all time. It's really good. But even that series, like, you know, can we get like a, at least a college setting or like something? The, in this game, in Yakuza Like a Dragon, <laughs> The characters are like in their 40s. Like this is fantastic. I, it was so different. There was no, you know, school stuff going on or like, I'm, I'm just so sick of it. I'm really sick of the school thing. It's almost like why when we do a modern day setting, does it always have to be high school kids in a school? Like why, what is that? Like, why can't we do, there's no other ideas out there? Like, damn. But this, exactly, so different, so different. And I'm telling you, you feel every emotion playing this. You will, these are the kind of games that you play and it, whether it's hokey or silly or not, you actually will be like, oh, when you're playing it because something crazy will happen or you'll find yourself laughing or you'll find yourself like just like so mad because something crazy just happened or you're just sitting there grinning. Like it's everything. This is, <laughs> this is a very special game. This is just absolutely um, a game that comes once in a lifetime and it's really good. I love that a lot of my favorite games are games I've played recently because I've just played so many and I'm just so happy to have played some of this, um, like amazing content, but wow, like this game is phenomenal. I cannot speak highly enough about it. Like it is just, it is perfection. Like I said, there's a couple flaws clearly. Um, there is an annoying mission where you have to have a lot of money and there there's a way around it but if you didn't if you don't know that you might have to look something up there's some extremely grindy parts and you know but but here's the funny thing there's one area where it said you know to grind a lot and you should be at this level and I thought okay but the actual area I was at like grinding was really fun so and I don't like grinding so I think it's because it felt very similar to Dragon Quest and Dragon Quest is very grindy and I hate grindy games but somehow I don't mind the grind in Dragon Quest I don't understand but if it's any other game I like want to die but in in these kind of games I'm totally okay with it so please more games like this it's phenomenal. I mean, this is the crime world in, in Japan. It's very interesting and perfect for a JRPG. Honestly, Yakuza worked so well as a JRPG. It is incredibly funny, heartfelt, silly, all the same silly sub stories that you know and love are here. I don't need to tell you guys tons about this. This game has been out like three or four years now, whatever, or maybe not that long, but I don't care. <laughs> it's been long enough that most of you have probably played it, but I just played it. I just fell in love with it and I am just feeling great because when you find that f a new favorite game it just feels so great like you know I'll play a JRPG and then I put it on my list and I'm like oh you know it's maybe it's number 19 on my list so far or, or whatever I have like top game I have so many lists and I'll be like oh yeah this is I'd put it here and it ends up being like number 17 or number 31 or whatever it's like no no this is like number two this is like under earthbound this is legit this is big guys <laughs> so again, I can't speak highly enough about Yakuza Like a Dragon. Please, please do yourself a favor and play this. It is fantastic. I know you'll love it. I don't 
have much else to say other than I just wanted to come on here and gush about it. My last review was a game I hated. This is a game I like will cherish forever. So trust me, I don't hate everything. <laughs> I love most games I play, but I also, if I hate something, I want to tell you guys about it because if I have to hate it, you guys have to suffer too. <laughs> Have you played Yakuza Like a Dragon? It is phenomenal. I want to hear all about it. I want to hear your stories. I want to know what your favorite characters are and just your overall experience with it because I'm sorry, but Nanba taking a nap just every time. I was always laughing. I was legitimately upset and sad when I beat this because like I was so accomplished and felt proud, but I was also like super bummed because I'm like, oh man, now I'm done. But I know they'll make more and we'll see more of these characters and I love them so much and this was so like power of friendship kind of game but with like 45 year olds and I was just loving it. I'm just loving it guys. So anyway, have <laughs> have a fabulous day and I'll see you in my next video.